You may remember our dreamy elephant heaven from our hypernatremia sketch. And now we're back for a special stop to talk more deeply about an important cause of hypernatremia, diabetes insipidus. So sit back on your soft, fluffy cloud and follow me. In diabetes insipidus, or DI for short, the kidneys fail to appropriately concentrate the urine by reabsorbing free water in the collecting duct, leading to an excess of free water lost in the urine. Just look at this lovely elephant fountain spewing water from the top and the bottom. And by that, I mean peeing. Non-stop peeing. With all this excess urine, patients have polyuria, and this includes peeing a lot at night, called nocturia. You can see that here with a familiar elephant from our hypernatremia sketch who's wearing a cute nightcap. Yep, still peeing away all that urine. All this fluid loss kicks the thirst response into gear, causing polydipsia as well. And thus, DI often presents as a classic trio of polyuria, polydipsia, and nocturia, just like our nighty-night elephant is trying to have a quiet night, but instead has to simultaneously drink and pee. We keep our troughs filled with water for our thirsty elephants, but if patients don't keep up with their free water loss, or if there's a hole, like in this trough right here, <clears throat> still haven't repaired that. Dehydration can quickly result. Dehydration is the right term to use here, as opposed to hypovolemia, because remember that it's free water loss, not just volume loss. Look for typical signs of dehydration, altered mental status or confusion, lethargy, dry mucous membranes, delayed capillary refill, and even vital sign changes like tachycardia and hypotension. We put these salty peanuts, extra dry hay, and empty water trough here to remind you of the hypernatremia and overall dryness of dehydration. <laughs> 